My name is Daniel and I'm in charge of data analytics and performance marketing here at C3 Prague. C3 Prague is a content marketing agency. We're part of uh, the international C3 network. Currently, we, we work for two major clients here in the Czech market, uh, which is the biggest car manufacturer in the Czech Republic and the biggest bank, uh, both retail and corporate, uh, focused here in the, in the Czech market. We do content marketing. The most typical output is uh, writing blog articles, creating content, uh, both written video or, or, or image content. My name is Olga and uh, I work with data and performance analytics here in C3 Prague. We help our clients uh, to create content, to write uh, articles uh, which are based on data and data insights uh, and to create uh, videos uh, and other content pieces that are highly relevant to their target audiences. We see SEO as an integral part of content marketing, which has keyword research or keyword uh, analysis as its main building pillar. Keyword research for us is, is the main way to find out uh, what people actually search for online. Uh, through Google or other search engines. And that in turn helps us formulate uh, the main topics that we should write about, mainly when it comes to the so-called help content, which means content topics that are related to uh, concrete search queries of people. As an example, uh, people search for uh, the difference between uh, credit and debit card here in the Czech market, in Czech Republic, for example. So we've, we've created an article that explains the difference in five to ten main points, which is search engine optimized and which is based on uh, the knowledge of our knowledge uh, that people in the Czech market search for uh, that difference uh, a lot online. And that's, that, that's what we find out thanks to uh, Keyword Tool. The challenges that our clients face in their content marketing strategies include lack of focus, lack of clear distribution strategy, but also lack of proper SEO which is something that we help uh, our clients address. Thanks to Keyword Tool, we can help them write the article using the right topics, using the right keywords, or shoot the video again using the right keywords, and then resolve this challenge. Typically, we start with some general topics that we know we will need to write about because these are the topics or products or services that our clients are interested in promoting. So take uh, the Česká spotitelná bank, for example. Um, they want to promote mortgages, insurances, savings or loans. So we, we will look at those four big themes or big topics, uh, typically in Keyword Tool. And then we see which of those four, for example, has the highest search volumes. And it's not just mortgage per se, but all the other related queries. So we create topic clusters of all the keywords, all the, key, all the queries that are related to that topic. And then, for example, we see that mortgages are the bigger topic rather than loans. So we focus on mortgages and then as a next step, as a next stage, we uh, go one step deeper and uh, we find out what the most uh, search for subtopics in that area are. So if it's, if it's mortgages for certain groups of people, um, if it's uh, how, to, how to get the mortgage, all the other things that people search for in that area. And then we pick out those, those detailed subtopics and write articles about them, which, which we 100% know that they are search, they will be search engine optimized. Uh, we created a, a campaign recently uh, that was back in spring for, uh, for a big car manufacturer. The campaign was focused on uh, female cycling. And all the videos, all the content that we created was search engine optimized. We used Keyword Tool heavily to determine what the most uh, frequently searched for terms are. And then we made sure that these were included in the video title, description and tags. Typically, what we appreciate here the most at C3 Prague about Keyword Tool is that it's super easy to use. As opposed to Google Keyword Planner, the information that we can get from Keyword Tool is much more granular, it's much more detailed. So for example, we see all those related keywords which are extremely relevant for us if we want to direct our research in some other way. Uh, we see the most typical questions that people ask over there as well. And last but not least, it's not just about Google. 
We can also see the most frequent search queries for other search engines, of which YouTube is the second biggest, actually. What we also appreciate about Keyword Tool is that uh, we've got this trends feature, so we are able to determine whether a keyword or a search term has been trending over the last few months, if the, the amount or the number of searches has been increasing or decreasing, and that helps us determine if we are to focus on that topic or not. The first thing that is really great about Keyword Tool is that it is very easy, uh, easy to use, and you do not need to be a professional to work with it. Then the next thing is uh, that you can use different filters so that you can uh, choose country or even a region inside a country, uh, language and so on. Another great thing about Keyword Tool is that it can work uh, not only with Google but other important platforms such as uh, YouTube, uh, Amazon, uh, Yahoo and so on. As for me, I really like trends because the thing, the problem you face uh, is that you see the number, for example, but the first question that comes to your mind is, is it a lot or not? Uh, so this is where trends can help you and you see uh, in time how this topic develops and uh, you see something that is important today or becomes more and more important and this is where you can analyze the things and compare them in time. One more thing which is uh, really important and helps you do the research uh, is related keywords. Uh, because sometimes it is difficult to get the idea just from your mind and to understand that yeah people search for that but do not search for that for example. And this is where Keyword Tool gives you these ideas. As a result, we were able to see that thanks to Keyword Tool, uh, we, we ranked for those queries that we wanted to rank for in the top 10 positions in the YouTube search results. We use Keyword Tool to understand the trends and uh, topics people are interested in, people search for. That helps us to uh, build our content strategy and define actually topics we need to talk to. So the main connection between content marketing and SEO for us as a content marketing agency is that we need to create content that is relevant for the audiences of our clients. In order to do that, we need to know what these people are actually interested in. These days, it's not about traditional market research, crafting heavy and difficult focus groups, but rather you have this information available online and we use a wide range of tools from social listening and trends tools all the way to keyword research and SEO tools. Uh, so while social listening tools show us what people talk about online, on discussion forums, on social media platforms, keyword research tools such as Keyword Tool show us what people mostly search for. Those two pieces of information help us determine what to focus on in our content marketing strategies for our clients what to write about, what to do videos about, because that's what people are actually interested in. For a content marketing agency, such a tool is uh, necessary. Keyword tool helps you determine the best topics, helps you determine the best time when to, when to publish content about those topics, because you know at which time those topics are typically, which months of the year those topics are typically most searched, and also obviously for uh, search engine marketing, because uh, you, can, you can see this information about uh, costs per click and also about uh, competition on that keyword. If you're online, you need SEO, you need uh, to know uh, trending things and you need keyword tool.